Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see in discrete series mode calculation. In the previous problem, previous class, mode in discrete series, it was quite simple. When you see the frequency easily, you can say that uh, which frequency is mostly occurring, mostly repeating that you could identify. Now today's problem, you can't identify like this. See the problem, I will explain it very clearly. Now this is the problem from the following data, find Z, Z means mode. So this is the data given to us, X and frequency. If you see 5 is repeating one time, 10 is repeating three times like this, what is the highest repeating number? 30, it is repeating 12 times. But if you see the next highest, it is 11 almost near to the 12. Are you getting it? In such cases, you can't say that mode lies in 30 because nearest number, next nearest number is also very much near to the 30. 25 is also very much nearest because 25 is repeating 11 times, 30 is repeating 12 times. That is why always remember whenever you find the frequency like this, highest number near to that, any number is there. It is always better to prepare grouping and analysis table. Okay? Here you can write one sentence. By inspection, we cannot say that group, uh, mode lies in 30 because the concentration of 25 number is also near to the 30. Hence, whatever I am saying, you can write down. Once again, I will repeat it. By inspection, we cannot say mode lies in 30 as the highest number is 12. Mode is possible to be on 25 number also because its concentration is almost near to the 30 that is 11 to 12. 25 is almost near to the 30. How? Through the 11 and 12, almost near. So, in such cases, better to prepare grouping analysis table. This sentence you write down. Grouping analysis table. Better to prepare the grouping analysis table. Now, already I have drawn this. This is grouping table, analysis table. I did not write the heading. Shall I write here? So, you can understand grouping table this is. Grouping table, analysis table, both. Simple, need not to worry, very easy. See, uh, X and frequency I have written already. So, I have prepared what, 5 more columns, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is 1. Frequency whatever is given, this is 1. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, second column, what do we do? I will keep this here. Second column, we have to add 2, 2 numbers of frequency, 2, 2 numbers, means 1 plus 3 comes to 4. In between, we will write, center of this 1 and 3, I have written 4. In the same way, 4 plus 9, 13. So, this is also center, in center I am writing, 11 plus 12, 23. In between 11 and 12, 23. And 6 plus 2, 8. 8 I will write here. Over. Next, third column, we will write the first number. Frequency first, we are leaving, adding 2, 2 numbers. 3 plus 4, 7. Exactly opposite to the center, I am writing here. 3 plus 4 is 7. Next, 9 plus 11, 20. 20 is in between this. 20. Then 12 plus 6, 18. 2 plus 2, 4. Over 2, 2 we have added by leaving the first number. Now fourth column will add 3, 3 numbers. Here 1, 4, 1, 3 and 4 means th uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 comes in between these 3, means opposite to 3 we will write 8. 3 numbers we have added. What are the 3 numbers? 1, 3, 4. Added and we have written opposite to the 
3 why opposite to the 3 because that's a center number center number of this 3 next next to 3 these 3 9 plus 11 20 20 plus 12 32 32 will write opposite to the 11 32 9 this is over next 6 2 2 means 10 10 will write opposite to the 2 next sixth column will leave the first frequency and will add 3 3 in this column what we have done 3 3 we have added here we we'll leave the first number and adding 3 3 first number means 1 1 first number is we are ignoring now adding 3 4 and 9 so this is 7 no 7 plus 9 16 16 comes opposite to this 16 so these three are over next these three will take uh, 11 plus 12 uh, 23 23 plus 6 29 29 comes opposite to this next three numbers we don't have we have only two numbers only if we have third number we could have written here but right now we have only two we'll ignore it are you getting it now coming to the last number that is sixth column sixth column what we'll do we'll leave the first two numbers and add three three add 3 3 means these 3 I'll add 20 24 24 I'll write opposite to the 9 24 next these 3 mm, 20 this is right yeah 20 20 opposite to the 6 once if we have completed this grouping table we have to find out the highest number in each column what is the highest number here 20 will round up here 12 12 will round up now in the second column 23 third column 20 fourth column 32 fifth column 29 sixth column 24 okay we have rounded we have identified the highest number in all the six columns grouping table is over am i clear now coming to the analysis table for the analysis table we take only the x no need of frequency no need of frequency x we have written as it is now all the columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the total so this is analysis table how do we do this now you see first in the first column highest is 12 where is 12 12 is when x is 30 right 30 x is 30 here you are finding highest number so we will give a tick mark are you getting in this column highest number is 12 12 which number in in x that is 30 number so 30 number i have put a tick mark highest number whatever you are finding that you are giving over there in the second column 23 so how do you got 23 by adding 11 and 12 11 and 12 means 25 and 30 are you getting this 23 is the highest how do you got 23 by adding these two these two means 25 and 30 25 and 30 i'll put a tick mark means we are giving points which is highest that we have identified and we are giving points over there now coming to the third column third column what we have done uh, we have added uh, two two na two items this is the 20 20 how do you got by adding 9 plus 11 9 plus 11 means 20 25 20 25 okay now coming to the fourth column fourth column is 32 how do you got 32 by fourth column what we have done 3 3 means 9 plus 11 plus 12 20 and 12 32 32 you got it by adding 9 11 12 means 20 25 30 20 25 30 now fifth column fifth column what we have done we left the first number and added 3 3 and 29 how do you got 11 plus 12 plus 6 right so 11 plus 12 is 23 23 plus 6 is 29 you got 
11 plus 12 plus 6 means 25, 30, 35. 25, 30, 35. Now, coming to this sixth column. Sixth column, what we have done? We left the first two numbers and added 3, 3. 24 you got by adding 4, 9, 11. Okay? 4, 9, 11, you got 24. 4, 9, 11 means 15, 20, 25. 15, 20, 25. Okay? Now, we will total up this whichever is highest that we have given a points in the analysis table. Now, we will total up 5 is nil, 10 also nil, 15 is how many marks it got 1 and 20 is 1, 2, 3, 25 is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one also 25 only. We have to be very careful. If possible, you can draw one more line like this. It will be easy. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which one? 25. Next, 30 is 4. 35 is 1. And nil. If you see the total, which number is repeated more times? 5 times. 5 times means this is 25. So, mode is 25. Are you getting it? Now, by inspection, generally you will say 12 is the highest number, mode is 30. We could have said blindly. Now, when you prepare the grouping table and analysis table, if you have given weightages like this, and this weightages we have transferred into the analysis table. So, according to that, it shows that 25 is repeated 5 times. Whereas 30 repeated 4 times only, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 only. So, mode is 25. You can write here, mode is 25 as it has repeated repeated highest number of times highest number of times as per the grouping and analysis table Am I clear? This is you must be thorough grouping analysis table. Not only for discrete series, this is useful even for the continuous series also. But only one time I am showing you this problem, grouping analysis table. Next two problems I will show you directly and you have to work out. Am I clear? Take the screenshot or note down. Hope it is clear. I am, I am explaining very slowly. So that below average students also can catch me without any doubt. If you are feeling I am teaching slowly, please increase the speed. 1.752 as per your wish, as per your capacity, you can go ahead. Check out the old list also, statistics which already covered that the video and audio quality is not up to the mark. So that's the reason I am preparing it once again, entire playlist. And also there are many subjects which already covered. Check out and don't forget to share these videos in the next class will go for continuous series of mode. Stay connected, practice well. Good luck.